praise the lord sing to the lord a new song his praise in the assembly of the faithful let israel be glad in his maker let the son of zion rejoice in their kings let's pray gracious lord heavenly father we come before your throne of grace we praise you for bringing us together in this holy sanctuary to worship you as we stand before you let the power of your spirit fill each one of us enable each one of us to worship you in truth and spirit as we enter the worship o oh lord give us the grace to know you to confess and to partake in your holy communion we pray for all those who are leading and assisting the worship today we uphold in our hands our dear bino daniel achan who is leading the kurbana be with achan and strengthen him we pray for the choir and all those who are assisting the worship as we praise you and adore you let your name be glorified from the depth of our heart and this service may be helpful to witness your name in the days to come we give you all glory and honor in jesus precious name we pray amen, amen. let's begin our worship by singing hymn number 7 holy 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 hymn number 7 be seated now the first and second lesson will be read Today's first lesson is taken from the book of Daniel chapter 1 verses 1 to 9. 
the book of Daniel chapter 1 verses 1 to 9. In the third year that Jehoiakim was the king of Judah, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylonia attacked Jerusalem and surrounded the city. The Lord let him capture King Jehoiakim and seize some of the prisoners back with him to the temple of his gods in Babylon and put the captured treasures in the temple storeroom. The king ordered Aspenas, his chief official, to select from among the Israelite exiles some young men of the royal families and of the noble families. They had to be handsome, intelligent, well-trained, quick to learn and free from physical defects so that they would be qualified to serve in the royal court. Espenas was to teach them to read and write the Babylonian language. The king also gave orders that every day they were to be given the same food and wine as the members of the royal court. After three years of this training, they were to be appear before the king. Among those chosen were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, all of whom were from the tribe of Judah. The chief official gave them new names, Belteshazzar, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel made up his mind not to let himself become ritually unclean by eating the food and drinking the wine of the royal court. So he asked Ashpenaz to help him, and God made Ashpenaz sympathetic to Daniel. Here ends the first lesson. Today's second portion is taken from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 6, verses 12 to 20. First Corinthians, chapter 6, verses 12 onwards. Everything is permissible for me, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be mastered by anything. Food for the stomach and the stomach for food, but God will destroy them both. The body is not meant for sexual immorality but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. By his power, God raised the Lord from the dead, and he will raise us also. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ himself? Shall I then take the members of Christ and unite them with the prostitute? Never. Do you not know that he who unites himself with the prostitute is one with her in body? For it is said, the two will become one flesh. But he who unites himself with the Lord is one with him in spirit. Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a man commits are outside his body. But he who sins sexually sins against his own body. Do you not know that, that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You are bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Thus sins today's portion. In your light we see the light Jesus full of light. It's your light that shines upon our world. Light our minds. May your light reveal. In our hearts, as we humbly pray in spirit and truth, and holy one who dwells on high in mansions of love.
Christ, born of Mary, baptized by John, how mercy on us. We, we magnify you, Lord, 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 Lord King, only begotten Son, word of the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, immortal your nature, who was born of the Virgin Mary, for the life and salvation of all mankind, without change of nature. You became the Son of Man, and was crucified for us, thus trampling death underfoot, and destroying it forever. You are one in the Holy Trinity, and are worshipped and glorified, equally with your Father, and your living and Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy are those God. Holy are those Almighty Lord. Blessed Apostle Paul says, If anyone, if we ourselves or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel at variance with the gospel we preach to you, he shall be held outcast. Various kinds of teaching spring up in all quarters, but blessed is he who begins and ends in the teaching of God. Accept, O Lord, these our prayers and petitions. Make us to observe in purity and goodness of heart your precepts and those of your holy apostles and of your holy apostle Paul architect and builder of your church Amen From the epistle of Paul's first letter to Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 4 onwards Praise to you Lord of the apostles O Lord grant us grace to discern your word but your brothers are not in the darkness, and the day should not take you by surprise like a thief. All of you are people who belong to the light, who belong to the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, we should not be sleeping like the others. We should be awake and sober. It is at night that people sleep. It is at night that they get drunk. But we belong to the day and we should be sober. We must be our faith and love as a breastplate and our hope of salvation as a helmet. God did not choose us to suffer his anger, but to possess salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us in order that we might live together with him, whether we are alive or dead when he comes. And so encourage one another and help one another just as you are now doing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Offer to the Lord sacrifices of praise. Come and worship in his holy courts. Hallelujah. Give to us knowledge and discernment of your divine word. Fill us with the truth of your holy gospel, the riches of your wisdom and the gift of your spirit. Enable us grandly to obey your commands and perfectly to fulfill your holy will. Make us worthy to receive your blessings and mercies at all times, now and forever. Amen. Brethren, let us stand in silence and reverence 
and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be with you all. May the Lord make us all worthy to listen to his word. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which proclaims life and salvation to the world, as recorded by the evangelist Lord. Blessed is the Lord, and when we come again, praise to the Father who sent him for our salvation. May his blessings be ever upon us. In the days of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior, Word of life, God incarnate, O the Blessed Virgin Mary, it happened in this way. So we believe and affirm. No one after lightning a lamp put it in a cellar, but on the lamp stand so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, consider whether the light in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives your light with its rays. Peace be with you all. Thank you, Lord, that you have given us your gospel, which is to give the light to the world, that we may be drawn closer to you. Enable us by your grace to give praise to you through the living words of your gospel, which we have now heard. O oh Lord, grant us your days and your mercy. Merciful Lord, have mercy and help us. Help us, O Lord, continually to offer to your praise and thanksgiving to him who absolves us from our debts and pardon our sins, who receives the penitent and make him holy who ends for the redemption of sin is and promised. Call and I will answer, no, can I will open and stretch forth my hand to pardon your sins. To you belong glory and honor and worship now and forever. Let us pray to the Lord for His grace and mercy. Merciful Lord, have mercy and help us. O Lord God, who alone can make holy, who alone can pardon and remove our sins, blot out my many great Our things were made, who for, made, who for us men and our salvation, Came down, down from heaven and was, and was, and was incarnate with the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and, and was made man. man. He, he was with the Son also for us. The day so and he was married, suffered and died and was buried. The third day he was singing by his Father's holy name, ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with the glory to judge both the living and the dead. And of his kingdom there will be no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of life, who is with the Father, who with the Father, and through the resurrection of the Lord and glorified, who is born by the prophets and apostles. We believe in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit of the Holy Church. We have known them and baptism for the Christian who sins, and lived our word to the resurrection of the dead, that in the name of the world to come. Amen. Hare Kumar, Salman Galo. Please be seated, those who have celebrated their birthdays and wedding anniversaries can come forward for the thanksgiving prayer. Those who want to join for the special thanksgiving prayer can also be come forward.
gracious heavenly and loving father thank you for the wonderful life which you added in our as we are here to worship you adore you especially we pray for those who are bowed down their hearts in front of the sanctuary as we sing together you are all my life you are taking care of all my life situations thank you lord last one year you keep safely in the hands of your mighty thank you lord all the blessings which you showered in my life as they are celebrating the birthday in this times be with them and light with your spirit and also we pray for those who are celebrating the birthday wedding anniversaries as they are become the part of the holy life be with them strengthen with your mighty power as they are facing the challenges in this new year fill with your holy power and also we pray for those who are came for the special prayers and needs kindly bless them guide them and empower with them with your holy spirit once again we commit ourselves all this children to your mighty hand be with us in jesus name we pray amen, amen. our of our tree will be collected hymn number 55 sweet hour of prayer
Let's look to God in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for all the moments which you added in our life. Thank you, Lord, all the strength which you've given for us to live in this empirical world. As we are living together in this world, kindly bless with all your powers. As we submit this offertory, kindly help us to understand the real sense of the mission and help to live according to your holy will. As we are going to meditate upon your words, be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. We all are in the holy sanctuary to worship the Lord. Let us listen to the word of God. For the script devotion, the scripture portion is taken from the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 11 verses 33 to 36 in which let me read verse 33 and 34. No one after lighting a lamp puts it in a cellar but on the lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. Your eyes is, is the lamp of your body. If your eyes is healthy, your holy, whole body is full of life. And if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, consider whether the light in you is not darkness. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we come before your presence to listen from you. Speak to us through the words that we have read. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable to you, our rock and redeemer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Today, we are meditating upon the theme, Body, the Temple of God. Body, the Temple of God. When we look into the different scripture portion for today's reading and meditations, we find the emphasis of taking care of your body. The first lesson, Daniel chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. And in the second lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, then we have the epistle as 1 Thessalonians and after the gospel portion as Luke chapter 11, verses 33 onwards. All these portions focus upon how to take care and respect our bodies. When we look into the biblical passages, we find that St. Paul is the person who has given this title, the body, the temple of God. And it was written when he writes his letter to the church at Corinth. In his first letter, chapter 3, verse 16, he writes like this, you are the temple of God and you should know that the Spirit of God resides in you. In chapter 6, when he addresses different issues of immorality among the Corinthian community, the unethical life, the unhealthy practices that they were just going through, Paul says, you should once again, you should know that the body is the temple of God. Why Paul makes this comment, the theological comment, body as the temple of God. In Greek culture, body is considered to be evil because body carries the seed of sin. That is why whenever they compare body, whenever they try to narrate about body, they compare the body with soul by saying, soul has a prominence 
because soul is from god and body is from this world so body is evil body is matter the matter that carries all evil pleasures hence the greek culture and the greek people often try to ignore the significance of body that is why paul says we are not moving into the understanding of greek philosophy where body is discarded what is hebrew understanding of body the hebrew understanding of body is that body carries the life the gift that god has given body carries the gift the god has given the life so the life is carried by the body and hence the body is the pure and it is not polluted body is pure not polluted that is why when genesis the writer when starts the writing about the story of the creation the book of genesis itself we see god created human god created the body from the dust the yahweh have breath into the nostrils of human body and the body regains the life the divine life that god has and it is written that body is the image of god body is the image of god if body is the image of god how can we say that body is evil how can we say that body carries the seed of sin so that is a very distorted understanding that has crept into the theology or the faith but now today we are trying to correct it by saying yes body is the temple of god why paul says body is the temple of god because temple when we look the concept of temple it is known that temple is the space where all sort of divine activities are performed so temple is a space in which all divine activities are performed then if we say body is the temple of god then body is the platform or the space of sacred activities body is the platform or space of sacred activities that means body is sacred we cannot discriminate any bodies by looking at the shape at the size or the gender by saying these bodies are discriminated these bodies are polluted no we cannot say that because body is the image of god and if god's spirit resides in our own human bodies and this body is the temple of god body is so sacred and it should be sacred every time that is all that is the responsibility that god has given us to keep our bodies more sacred every time every context we can pollute our bodies through different immoral activities through different addictions of our life we can destroy and make the body as evil but god never has created the body as evil so this should be very much at the heart of our life saying that yes god has given me a body that is body is so sacred that is why the word became flesh the word became flesh when god desired to become human the god took the same human body took the same human body god never took an avatar by saying a superficial body a different type of body yes god in jesus christ came into the same body the body that we carry the body that god has given us so that is why the body is pure and is sacred and body has to be respected every spaces in every spaces no spaces can be said that this bodies are contaminated bodies this body is unclean this body is pure because all the process that is happening within a human body is pure all the activities that is happening in a human body a physical activities are pure that means body is the temple of god then that body is sacred second thing is that if the body is sacred the body has to be living sacrifice this is a sacrificial element in the each body god said that 
yes look at my body my body is considered to be a bleeding body the wounded body the body of jesus christ is a bleeding body the body of jesus christ is a wounded body the body that is tortured and crushed to give us salvation to give us redemption so jesus christ the body of jesus christ is a redeeming body through which we are saved through jesus christ body when jesus took all elements of woundedness brokenness fragmentation in his own life this was all expressed in his body we know that during the time of the good friday and the holy week we used to meditate upon the brokenness of jesus's body so jesus's body was broken so that our body will be built jesus body was broken so that our bodies will be built that means through that brokenness we have received the great gift of redemption the salvation that means our body must be a living sacrifice to the lord our body must be a living sacrifice that is why romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 paul reminds us your body must be a holy and living sacrifice before the altar so we should commit ourselves into god's hand by saying yes lord you have broken for me and i am giving my body as a living sacrifice that doesn't mean that we should crush our body we should kill our body as in other religious sects or cults people say that you should broke your body then only by making the body broken or making the body bleeding the god will please upon you that is not the philosophy or theology of christian faith christian faith is that you are a living sacrifice that means you have to live your body must be committed to the lord your body must be attached to the tortured body of jesus christ your body will must be connected to the body of jesus the crucified body we are connected to the crucified body and if we are connected to the crucified body our body is must be a living sacrifice that is the second emphasis when paul says body is the temple of god and third is body is to serve the lord body is to serve the lord we are the members of a mystical body that we know in all our liturgy on qurban and sadaqah prayers we say that we are the members of a mystical body this body is the body of christ that church so paul is the person saying church is the body of christ and why the body church is in this world to serve the world to serve the world so the, the great commission that god has given us through our body the sacred body through our living sacrifice we need to serve the people around us and our body is the instrument of god's service our body is the instrument of god's service so we need to serve the people through our own bodies and our bodies can be placed in different spaces we know that those people who are in medical profession the nurses the paramilitary groups all these people we have seen during the time of pandemic the bodies are there in different spaces to take care the people who are afflicted by all this sickness yes our body should be placed in different spaces through which we can serve the people we should not say that yes my body should every time be at the temple of god in the sanctuary this is a holy body it cannot be used no if we our body as should be used in different spaces serve the lord through our own bodies serve the lord through our own bodies then this body is the redeemed body that we know that our body is a redeemed body because this body is connected with crucified christ crucified body of our lord our body is a redeemed body our body is sacred our body is a living sacrifice our body is to serve the lord then the last what is the paul understanding of the body paul says in first corinthians chapter 15 if this body is the temple of god 
then the body is a resurrecting body we have a body that will resurrect we are in the experiences of resurrection we are moving through the experiences of resurrection if we have a redeemed body yes through jesus christ our body will be resurrected that is why we say we used to sing hallelujah at the time time of death when our services of funeral service ends at cemetery we say hallelujah 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 why this body will resurrect this body has been kept back as plato has said this is kept in the cave no we are keeping the body in the cave the cave of dust the cave of mud we are keeping the body in the cave so that when god's voice will be heard the body will resurrect yes that is the great hope this is the great hope in which we all live our hope is that our bodies are as resurrecting bodies as our body is sacred our body is a living sacrifice our body is to serve the lord and we have a redeemed body yes our redeemed body will resurrect so this body must be kept holy you cannot ignore the body by saying i can do anything with my body as corinthian people said i can have immoral i can deal with my body according to my own desires or pleasures i can just give my body for all activities of this world you cannot say that your body should be holy your body should be healthy your body should have all happiness it should be healthy it should be holy and it should be happy the body must be happy we need to take care all very very particularly we need to take care the healthy holy happy elements of our body so keep your body holy and say to ourselves that my body is the temple of god my body is the temple of god this body is sacred it is not a contaminated or polluted body this body is sacred yes this body is a living sacrifice before the lord yes this body is to serve the lord i have a redeemed body my body is connected with related with the crucified body of our lord and savior jesus christ yes my body will resurrect i am in the process of a resurrecting experience of my bodies not only my souls yes our bodies will resurrect let us praise god by saying yes i have a body the body the temple of god may god bless each one of us with his words now i request mirash alexander to lead us in prayer most gracious heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful privilege to be seated in this church this morning almighty father in this world filled with goodness evil pleasure leisure lust and temptations our desire is to have the fruit of your spirit evident in our daily life grant us father a spirit of self control may we face all issues in our life with calmness and self control let temperance grow in us lord and lead us to discover other virtues in life that brings deeper union with you in your sacred name we pray lord temper our desires and turn our focus towards you deliver us from the tendency to go to extremes that strain our body and soul thank you lord for the spiritual food that we receive through our church may we not forget that our body is the temple of god where sacred activities should happen may we never forget that our body is a living sacrifice and it is meant to serve the lord and lord for the hope of resurrection that we have father we commit our actions our senior members of the church and all of them gathered here we very specially commit our children before thee lord who are far and near to us lord when they are in the threshold of taking major decisions in life teach them lord not to turn their to the words their right or left but to look up to you and rest assured that you are their perfect guide who would lead them appropriately all our needs big and small we lay before thee in the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen
Those who are prepared to partake the Holy Communion may kindly stand and repeat the prayer of confession after me. <coughs> I confess that I have sinned against you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in thought, word, and deed. I am sorry with all my heart for these my sins. I believe in your promise that you will receive those who truly repent. O Lord, who are merciful and full of grace, accept me even as you accepted the publican, the woman who was a sinner, and the thief on the cross. And comfort me by the consolation of your word. O Lord, Grant that your holy body and holy blood, in which I now partake, may not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but to life and wholeness. Amen. May God Almighty be compassionate to you, who have truly confessed your sins, and may freely forgive your sins, and make you worthy to partake in this holy communion. Beloved brethren, pray with me that this service may be acceptable to the Lord. O Lord, we humbly know what you do. Coming to your house, we pray for your blessings. Sanctify your servants by your truth. O Lord, we call upon you in faith. Remember your promise that we are two of reality only. You are there in their midst. Impart your servants spiritual gifts. Send your Holy Spirit. Who dwelt in the forces to make us dwelling in us your people. O God and Lord of all people, make us worthy to greet one another with a kiss of peace, freed from insincerity and united in love. To you, O Father, and to your Holy Son, and to your Holy Spirit, we ascribe praise and glory. One God now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with you also. In the love of the Lord, let us greet one another in peace. Having received this token of peace, let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. Gracious Lord, we bow before you. Merciful Lord, hear the Lord, I yet condemns to look upon things that are lowly. Bless now those who have bowed their heads in your presence and bless them with your grace of your only Son, with whom and with the Holy Spirit. You are worthy of all praise and glory, now and forever. Amen. Brethren, with reverence and purity of heart, with love and true faith and devotion, let us participate in the Holy Kurbana, which is now offered. To God the Father, to whom all things belong, is offered this sacrifice of grace. Peace and praise in a spirit of unity and concord. 
the love of the God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion and the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with you all, dearly beloved, forever. And with you also. May our hearts be with Christ on high. Our hearts truly are with the Lord. To sing praises and worship the Creator of all things. Surely he is good and kind. Who is adored by the heavenly host, sun and moon and all the stars, the earth and seas and all that dwell there. Angels and archangels, thrones and powers, cherubim and seraphim, ever proclaiming. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Heaven and earth are full of his glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come in to come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When the sinless one of his own will chose to suffer death for our sinners, he took bread in his holy hands. Bless the Lord. He gave thanks, sanctified, and broke it and gave it to his apostles, saying, Take, eat. This is my body given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Amen. In the same way, he took the cup. Bless the Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and gave it to his apostles, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. You do the Lord we come to it. Your resurrection we celebrate, and your second coming we await. May your blessings rest upon us all. O oh Lord, we remember your death, burial, and resurrection, your ascension into heaven, and your presence now with the God the Father in glory and in power. We await your coming again to judge the world in righteousness and truth. Therefore, we, your people, offer to you, Lord, this service and sacrifice, entreating you and through your Father, not to deal with us according to our sins, but according to your holy, your own abundant mercy, and saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord our God. We give thanks to you, we praise you, we glorify you, we worship you. Have mercy on us and bless us. Answer and give us a Lord. Answer and give us a Lord. Answer and give us a Lord. And by your grace, have mercy on us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Holy Spirit sanctify this bread that it may be the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Holy Spirit sanctify the wine in this chalice, that it may be the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Sanctify, Lord, the bodies and souls of those who receive these gifts, that they may be bear fruit for the stability of your holy church. Establish ever more firmly your church founded on the rock of faith against which the gates of hell shall not prevail and preserve her to the end from the strife and error. To you with the Son and the Holy Spirit we will offer praise and thanksgiving both 
No and forever. Amen. Look with mercy, O Lord, on your holy church throughout the world for all the bishops who bear the burden of leading and guiding her, especially our Father in God, the Metropolitan, the moderators of CSA and CNI, our bishops, priests, and deacons. Give to each one your Holy Spirit that they may diligently work in your vineyard. Lord, have mercy. Lord, in the last day when you raise and gather all the faithful who are departed and fallen asleep in true faith, grant that we also may be with them, be counted worthy of the remission of our sins, and be gathered into your heavenly kingdom. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The blessings of our God and the Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with you also. Let us spend some time for the intercessory prayer. As we enter the new year, as we are submitting ourselves into mighty hand, help us to understand that our body is a temple of God. And as we are submit ourselves in the mighty hand, help us to leave, become holy in the, all the days to come. Let the light be shine in our life. Let the Holy Spirit be dwell in our life. Help us to serve the holy body in the days to come. Especially we pray for all those who are attending this holy worship. Kindly be with them in the, all the struggles, challenges, pains, and frustrations are coming in the days to come. Help to overcome all the situations by the Holy Spirit. Especially we pray for those who are in any type of sickness, illness, and those who are in any type of challenges. Almighty God, kindly give all the blessings to overcome the situations. Heal with your mighty power. And we pray for our families, members, our kids, our youths, as they are studying, as they are working, be with them. Help them to keep the body holy. We pray for all the families, family members, all our elders, those who are bedridden or sick or any type of illness, those who are living lonely, kindly be with them. We pray for the church, all the ministries, all the ministries, those who are serving the church. As we are become the part of the church, become the part of the kingdom of God. Help us to live according to the will of the God. And we can pray all the actions, those on the part of this parish. Especially we pray for Shibi Be with them. And Varghese Ke Matthew And all other actions. Help to serve the Lord in the days to come. We can conclude our prayer by the prayer of the Jesus Christ which we teach on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, may your kingdom come. May you be done on earth as in heaven. Give us day the bread. We need and forgive us all sins and offenses. As we have forgiven those who have offended us. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory of forever and ever. Amen. May the grace and mercy of the holy and glorious Trinity, uncreated, self-existent, 
eternal adorable and one in essence be with you all forever and with you also holy and glorious city have mercy on us holy things for holy people holy is the one father holy is the one son holy is the one spirit glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit the one the only one father who created the world in his mercy is with us amen the one only son who saved it by his precious passion is with us amen the one living holy spirit who perfects and fulfills and that it has been is peace with us may the name of the lord be blessed us in the beginning both now and forever beloved brethren pray for me as the father has compassion on his sons the lord has pity on those who fear him as for man his days are like grass he flowers like the flowers of the field glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be When your living voice rises from the grave, your servants who have departed this life, interest and hope in you, then, O oh Lord, remember us. Lord, have mercy. O oh Lord, at your command, death held its sway. He rose from the dead, and the death was abolished. Therefore, O oh Lord, we praise and exult. O oh Lord, every mouth shall sing your praise. You gather your children from every quarter. Bless us and help us. We pray you O Lord O Son, Son of God by your death you have turned our death into life raise us from the dust that we may ever proclaim your praise may God the Father the Son and the Spirit who is worthy of glory and worship forever we praise from generation to generation hallelujah O Son of God who came for our salvation and will come again for our resurrection and for the renewal of our grace grant we pray forgiveness of sins to your servants you through your own atoning sacrifice amen o oh lord god graciously bless those who children who partake of our most precious bloody blood which was given on calvary for the forgiveness of sins that they may abide in your presence forever amen the blessing of our jesus christ our great god and savior be on those who bear these sacred mysteries on those who dispense them and those who receive them and all who have participated and who shall participate in them 
the grace of the Lord be on all us, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, be gracious and have mercy on us. Glory and praise be to you, O Lord. Praise be to your everlasting refuge. The holy body of our Lord Jesus Christ, broken on us for the forgiveness of sins, is given to you for the health of the body and soul. Amen. Amen. Amen.
let us praise god praise be to you god our lord forever praise be to you lord jesus christ may your holy body and blood of which we have partaken be not for our condemnation but for the life and salvation to us all oh god grant us your blessings all we are just bowing for you and every good chance we see so many for your dear life to the dead and you are the hope of all who lie in the grave we praise you o lord and give thanks for your mercy towards us we praise you o lord because in your abundant mercy you have fed and strengthened us with the precious body and blood of your son our savior jesus christ and you have thereby made us one with him and with all the members of the mystical body we pray you to give us grace to continue in that holy fellowship and ever to offer glory and praise to you and to your holy god and son and to your holy spirit peace be with you all and with, and with you also o lord of god source of all blessings we bow our heads before you having received your holy body and blood o great and wonderful god who for the salvation of mankind stooped down and descended from heaven have mercy on us and bless us so that we may continually praise you and father and the holy spirit amen o oh lord bless us all o oh creator keep us all show us ever the way of salvation o oh lord and helper of all o oh lord this is your servant who has ministered in your holy presence accept the praises and petitions of us your people and pardon our offenses enable us to receive your gifts and blessings and dismiss us with your peace my beloved brethren i commend you to the grace and blessings of the holy and glorious trinity depart in peace with the gifts and blessings that you have received from the toning sacrifice of the lord amen you both near and far who are saved by the victorious cross of the lord and sealed with the seal of the holy baptism this holy trinity will forgive your sins and comfort your souls Pray for me, my brethren, weak and sinful as I am, that I may obtain mercy and help, depart in peace, filled with gladness and rejoicing. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the Lord accept your ministrations and help us by your prayers. praise god for all the grace and mercies and the good gifts that we have received through this service let me make brief announcements the worship schedule for next sunday 7 am we will have english holy communion service and 8:30 am malayalam holy kurbana monday january 9th tomorrow we will have senior citizen fellowship pagalweed meeting at 4:30 pm tuesday january 10th we have north area sevia sangam prayer meeting at the residence of 
Mrs. Suja Abraham, Skyline Augusta, apartment 7H at 4 p.m. Thursday, January 12th, we will have the Central and South Area Sevia Sangam prayer meeting at the church at 4 p.m. Friday, January 13th, we will have the Edo Mission meeting at 10 a.m. Saturday, 14th, there is a special program conducted by our study forum. And the title of this series of program is Contemporary Learning Series. The first study is on Know Your Universe. The program will be held from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. coming Saturday. The Google registration form is available through our link. Kindly register. And the preference is given to our Sunday school youth members so that this is a great time to know our universe and beginning our study process. So kindly relate with study forum activity and register your name. Dr. Monsivi Jacob, Monsivi John, Gandhi University, Dr. Noble P. Abraham Marchama College, Professor Somanatha Pillai of Pamba Devasam Board. These were the, will be the leaders who will be taking class associated with the program. And towards the end of the program, we will have the sky watch. So kindly request all interested members of this parish, the youths, the children, to register your name through the Google. East Sunday Sevia Sangam meeting will be held on this Saturday, January 14th, at Varikad Sehi and Marthama Church from 10 a.m. onwards. And we will have the center competitions of Sevia Sangam. Senior Citizen Fellowship, the diocesan level meeting, Niranamaram and diocesan level meeting will be held on January 18th, Wednesday, at our parish. And this is a special program conducted by the Diocese Senior Citizen Fellowship to give felicitation to the elder members who were the backbone of creating this great fellowship in our church. And uh, our dear Metropolitan Tirmeni will be presiding over the meeting and we are hosting the meeting. This is the first time Senior Citizen Fellowship is making a fellowship meeting and there, will, there is a lot of financial needs to conduct this program. So Senior Citizen Fellowship requests the parish members to support the Senior Citizen Meeting to prepare the food and all these expenses. So kindly support about 60,000 is budgeted for this program. Request all parish members to support Senior Citizen Fellowship. Today's prayer meeting, South One prayer meeting at the residence of Lijo Vargis Mullekel, 3.30 p.m. South 2 prayer meeting at the residence of Abraham Philip Putanburail, 4 p.m. South 3 prayer meeting, Eliama George Povokalath at 4 p.m. Central 2 prayer meeting, Professor Daisy Sara Vargis Nalam Velil at 4 p.m. Central 3 prayer meeting, Maman Vargis Kalapurambil Topil at 4 p.m. Central 4 prayer meeting, Monson Jacob Vettath at 5 p.m. North 1 prayer meeting, at the residence of Abraham Varghese Skyline 7H Skyline Augusta apartment at 3 p.m. North 2 prayer meeting at the residence of Benson Jacob Abraham Benson House behind Marthama College at 5 p.m. North 3 prayer meeting at the residence of Mrs. Shandama Varghese Putanpuri Shanti Bhavan at 5 p.m. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, we praise you for all the good gifts and grace and mercies that we have received through this service as we disperse from the holy sanctuary. May your spirit and wisdom be with each one of us to consider our body as sacred, as a living sacrifice to serve the Lord and our bodies will be a resurrecting body. Let our bodies be praised, being praised to you. O oh Lord, Keep us holy, healthy, and happy. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed week. Thank you.